Hi, and welcome to Variety Tech Today. I'm your host, Jonathan Sabin, and today we're going to be talking about 3D. You might be thinking, what 3D? Are you talking about VR? Are you talking about 3D TV, which is dead? Well, let's clear up some of the confusion. Okay, yes, first of all, let's get rid of the elephant in the room. Yes, there is 3D TV which has been abandoned by many manufacturers. However, one thing important to note is that 3D TVs still exist and more importantly 3D projectors are still being manufactured and made. So people do have options for watching 3D at home and there is a huge subset of the home theater population that still enjoys 3D content and 3D Blu-rays are still sold of recent movies as you can see and highly valued by collectors. Now as far as VR, virtual reality, and 360, sometimes these terms get conflated with 3D and confused. So let's try to clear that up. First of all, 360 is often 2D. What you often have is a camera like this which has two lenses that are spherical and they record a dome-shaped video of the complete 360 field of vision. Then, combined with a headset like this one, you put your phone in, and the image is duplicated twice, once for each eye. And it tracks your motion, so if you look here, the video will move over there, and, and likewise for any direction, basically. Up, down, you name it. However, while the video is spherical, there is no depth perception. There is no shifting between objects in a scene two slightly different viewpoints that makes stereoscopic 3D where things can come at you or recede into the distance. However, to do that, there are 3D cameras and camcorders. And the difference here is two lenses, as you can see. Just like we have two different eyes to see things from two slightly different angles to give us 3D, 3D cameras and camcorders do the same thing. And that's replicated on screen or it can also be replicated on your VR device. That's right, if you've got a smartphone and you've got a VR viewer, even a cheap Google Cardboard, yes, you too can view 3D movies without a 3D TV or projector. And many such are available on YouTube right now. Or if you have 3D Blu-rays, you can rip them to your computer or from other sources and put it into a side-by-side -side format to watch on your smartphone in your VR viewer. Of course, there are also cameras, a few, that record both 3D and 360 at the same time. But these aren't common, are few and far between, and don't always have the best quality. So now you know the difference between 3D and 360, and how they relate to VR. On another episode in the future, we'll get into how exactly 3D technology works on TVs and other devices. But for now, see you next time. Variety Tech Today.